Okay, what's up guys, Robot here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this epic web button. So, as you can see, it's not too many layers. If you want the icon, there's quite a few more. But um, the text is really easy, and it's a nice indented effect as well, as well as the actual button itself. So if we jump into this blank canvas here, and I'm going to fill that with a dark grey, like so. So, now what you want to do is create a new layer and we're going to make the actual button first. So you want to select the rounded rectangle tool here and I've put the radius 17 which is quite a nice radius so I'm going to drag that out like so and just make a kind of button and now this isn't the right colour at the moment so if I hide that we can see it more clearly. Okay and what you want to do is pick a blue colour or if you want to make a blue button otherwise pick another colour and I've gone for 0084FF if you want to copy me exactly and then hold down control or command and click on the thumbnail icon of layer 1 that will select the layer and then you want to hit alt backspace to fill it with the blue layer in your for in the foreground here okay so now you can deselect that and we want to add our layer styles to this layer first so if you just double click you want to go to gradient overlay leave it as default white and black it's blend, blend mode overlay opacity 50 oh that was a really good click and then scale down to 80 ok and then you want to go to bevel and emboss inner bevel smooth 100 and just slightly lower the screen and multiply you want to go to inner shadow bring opacity down to about 30 and angle to minus 90 I'm just going to check because that doesn't look too good. Okay, let me just check what I did on the other one. And add a drop shadow before we go. So, you got your general looking button there. <coughs> Multiply 40, 2, 4, 0. Multiply 40, 2, for this one ok and I'm just going to check the bevel and emboss settings as well to make sure we've got them right 28, 17 that one, 120 28 and 17 Okay, so that's looking a lot better now. I'm just going to lower the size to about 4. Alright, so now we've got the actual button, which still doesn't look too amazing because there's no effects added onto it yet. But it's the main kind of thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to rename this box and create a new layer. Again, hold down Control or Command and click on Box to get an outline of the general shape. And go to Select, Modify, contract uh, 3 pixels, let's see what that looks like but I'm going to do it again by another 3 pixels So again this will depend on how how big your button is to start with but then I'm going to reset my colours to black and white and switch so white is in the foreground select the gradient tool and then I can see that you want this white to transparent one and a linear gradient and just drag it into the corner like that and then deselect and then you can duplicate this layer and then hit control T right click on the thing click flip horizontal and hold down shift as you just drag it over into the opposite corner to make an identical white overlay and you can move it around with the uh, keys or zoom in to see how it looks and I'm going to lower the opacity down to 80 and just leave them as they are and then create another new layer and you want to select the pen tool and you can zoom in for this because it will be easier to see and just click here and drag all the way to make a kind of curved overlay shape and it doesn't matter if your pen tool goes outside the button 
then just right click when your path complete make selection OK and then you want to go back to your gradient tool select the gradient and make sure you can bring down a nice white gradient like so then for the third time you want to click command or control and click on the box there right click select inverse and just delete that rest of that white gradient and again lower the opacity to 80 okay so now we're done with all the effects on the box and as you can see it looks very similar to this one here without the icon and for the text what you want to do is you just want to go down to um, we'll get a font I, I can't remember which oh yeah I can it's Fad Rounded BT so this is a free font I think Fad Rounded BT because I haven't paid for any fonts so. then what you want to do is you want to type in your text so I'm just going to go with text and then subtext <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a cough. Um, I'm going to enlarge the text one so that it's just about as big, so they're the same size. Okay, and now I'm going to go into character and just increase the spacing. Okay, so we've got our main text there. It doesn't matter what color it is at the moment. Alright, so now I'm going to double click on this. You want to fill opacity. Um, I'm going to actually add a colour overlay and I think you can add dark grey or you can add a kind of bluish one let me just find a bluish kind of that'll do so I've got 081013 that's the colour you want to add a drop shadow make the colour white blend mode normal distance 0 size 1 spread all the way up and I'm going to add the distance to be another one actually distance 1 size 0 and then opacity bring down until you can just about see the white kind of outlines then add an inner glow normal color black and I'm going to decrease the opacity a bit and add an inner shadow and decrease the opacity and as you can see we have a nice looking indented text effect there that looks good with any size, um, any sized text. So you can use it on anything really. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Um, if you want to add a, a sort of iconic, there's a lot of layer styles that went into this. Um, a lot of shadows. Obviously, if you want to add more depth, you can just create a new layer get your pen tool and select up here and create a few lines so if we go to brush size 1 you can create a stroke add simulate pressure delete the path and create one at the bottom as well but you have to add an outer glow to these to make them a bit more realistic So that we pretty much have it. That is the web button. They look better when they're smaller. And they give a really nice effect. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys. And I will see you later.